Who are you? My name is Oliver. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. I'm a kid from right here in Motorville. Just like you. I know. I've seen you. You have? I'm sick. I can't leave this room. If I go outside, it hurts. So all I can do is look out at the world from my window. That's why they call us Steady Mary. Shh! Don't worry, man. No one can hear me by you. I can talk as loud as I want! Yes. That's why they call me Steady Mary. Huh? Tricky! Can she hear me? That's what they call me around here. But you knew that already, huh? Uh, uh, I... I bet you think I'm weird, don't you? No, I, I don't. It's okay. I don't mind. You should go before my father comes home. Uh... Oi, come here a sec. This is proper weird. I've looked as hard as I know how, but she doesn't seem sick at all. She's as fit as a fiddle, in fact. You mean, you can tell? I'm Lord High Lord of the Fairies, and I, of course I can tell. So what is wrong with her? Well, whatever sickness she had might be gone, but something still got a hold over the poor dab. Hmm. What is it? Oh, um, nothing. I'm gonna come see you again. Okay, Myrtle? Huh? Well, if you can't leave your room, I'll come to you instead. That way we can be friends. How does that sound? Oliver... You can't. Huh? My father won't allow it. You should leave. But Myrtle...
Christopher. What is it? Well, uh... If my father sees you, he'll... Myrtle, come with me. Huh? You can go outside now. You're not sick anymore. I... I can't, Oliver. Just thinking about going out there gives me goosebumps. Myrtle. Oh! Go on out and play, Myrtle. But... Father... Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened to me. I wasn't there when you were sick, when you needed me, and I was fighting with your mother the whole time. I guess... Maybe the thing that was keeping you closed up in here... Maybe it was me. Father... You were scared somewhere deep down that if you went away, even for a little while, your mother and I would lose the one thing keeping us together. That we... We wouldn't be a family anymore. I'm right, aren't I? That's why you... Why you were... Something deep inside you wouldn't let you leave the house. <laughs> Father, I... It's all right, sweetheart. Your mother and I, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Father! <laughs> please, Myrtle. Please forgive me. Oh, I do. Daddy, I do. Are those tears, Bunting? Huh? No, they're not. So much for you being honest. Uh, Oliver? Hmm? I'm going to try. I'm going to go outside. Will you come with me? Myrtle. This! Where am I? What happened? It was Shadar. He stole a piece of your heart. My heart? Is it you, Esther? Is it really you? 
Oh, my dear daughter. Father. Oh, forgive me, my child. <laughs> <laughs> you were robbed of your courage. But I... I have only myself to blame for the loss of my own. Oliver, it is you who taught me this. You have my thanks. You're welcome, Mr. Rashad. I will join you in the fight against Shudar. The day will soon come when the clarion rings out across the land once more. The clarion? Oh, it's an old story from way back, that is. Back when the world was at peace, like. The three kings of our world combined their skills and knowledge to create a flute that symbolized the great peace. The sound of this flute came to represent the unity of the nations of the world. How long is it now since the call of the clarion was heard? Not since the three kings got into a right old potch and fell out, I heard. To us, the clarion will ring out again, and we will be the ones to play it. <laughs> Very well, daughter. Let us do our best. Let us help Oliver in his fight. Thank you so much, Mr. Ashad, sir. Thank <laughs> you. 